Okay, so what we're going to be looking at here is severe catalytic converter failure on a 2007 Ford F-150 5.4 Triton V8. And this vehicle has 160,000 miles on it. It was originally uh, brought to me for a misfire, lack of power, and knocking noise, pinging coming from the engine. So I ran the vehicle with the catalytic converters disconnected and it still ran horribly so if you follow my videos you'll see that I tore the front uh, timing cover off and I found that uh, one of the guides was broke, one of the tensioners was collapsed we had some severe timing issues, the driver's side chain had a ton of slack in it so I took care of all that, fixed it all up, replaced it, everything was running perfect or so it seemed but as soon as the engine warmed up, it started doing the exact same thing again. Misfiring, pinging under load, uh, won't rev past 3,000 RPM. It was bad. The one thing I did fix, though, by doing all the timing component work was the cam phaser rattle and the timing chain rattle. So what I'm going to show you here is just how badly this catalytic converter failed. And this is also another reason why you should always use these test tools instead of just disconnecting the catalytic converters. Because by disconnecting the catalytic converters, sure, you might free it up if that's your problem, but if you have a second cause of failure, like what I had with the timing chains, I automatically assume that the catalytic converters were good and the slack and the timing chains were to blame. What this tool is, is this is a pressure gauge and it has an attachment that threads into the oxygen sensor holes before the catalytic converter. So, on a good catalytic converter, a cat that's flowing free, you shouldn't see any more than two PSI or so, tops. And when you snap the throttle or you put it under load, you should see about two PSI. It should be flowing freely. I'm going to show you just how bad this catalytic converter had failed. As you can see in the black there, it goes 5, 10, and then 15 PSI. When I start this vehicle, watch the gauge. Even when it cranks, if I can find the key, there it is. It pegged the gauge just during startup. So as you can see, we're bouncing around between 4 and 6 PSI just at idle. That's way more than it should be. So, when you give it throttle, watch what happens. <laughs> that is one stopped up cat. It's plugged up so bad it even blew the line off. That exhaust is just dying to get out of there. And it found the easiest way to get out was to blow this line off, if you can imagine that. So, another tip of why to use your 